Hello Map Geeks. Um, here to show you a little bit about preparing a map for publishing to ArcGIS Online. This is uh, one of the first steps you would do if you were going to maybe uh, publish an ArcGIS story map or create some other kind of interactive web app web map. Okay. So here we have our map with some uh, crime data. This is currently set up for a uh, number of murders per population in 2017. Let's just say that instead of publishing this as a print map, that we're going to uh, create some kind of interactive web map for readers to, to, to view. So um, one of the thing, first things we probably want to do is turn off the labeling. Um, too much labeling could be distracting. So what we're going to do is right click here on the USA counties and click the label, turn those off. Um, let's say this is the view that we want to open up when our web map is published. That's great. We've got the chloroplast map here. but uh, maybe one of the things we should do before we publish is to configure the pop-ups. Now the pop-ups are what happens when you click on a county or on a feature displays some data for you. So the default is it displays um, what layer it is looking at, the, the name, and then whatever is in the attribute table. So here's the information from the attribute table. Uh, now Say this is not the information we want to display. When we uh, click on a county in our map, what we would do is right click here and go to configure pop-ups. Um, and a window opens up and you have some options here. So um, it, it basically works in the way that you would think. Um, Whatever is at the top here is what's going to display as the title of the pop-up at the top. And then you can add different elements below. And each one um, is further down on the little pop-up um, window. So uh, first, let's see if we want uh, something different in here instead of just county's name. Um, so if you click on it, you, it opens up something that you can interact with and you can type in um, various things. The things inside this li these little um, brackets here are the field names. So the names of the fields in your attribute table um, and you can select any of those that you want and, um, and add them in. Let's say we want, right now we've got the, the county name displaying. Let's say we want to also add the name of the state. So, and we added a little comment and a space in between so that it should display uh, county name, comma, state name. So now we're just gonna try that. Let's click back here and see if it does. So up here is where it's showing us that the USA counties is uh, VS County, Wisconsin, um, with a little comma and a space in between the two words. Uh, I also want to change what comes up as the name of the, um, the layer in the legend here. So I'm going to close my pop-up and I'm just going to go over here to where it says USA counties and click slowly once and just type in um, counties. Click off of that and now uh, it says counties as the name of this layer. And we know that this county is called Polk, Wisconsin. Um, but down below, we don't need it to, re to repeat that. So what we're going to do is modify this lower section a little bit. So close this up again. All right, here we are, configure pop-ups. Um, instead, so you can go here where it says fields and you can click to edit the field and it, it will show you what is currently displaying. So um, it's gonna display the county name, the state name, and 
the FIPS, the population, and the population per square mile. Let's say that we want to modify that. And instead, let's remove this and instead put in some text. So this is a uh, text box that will be automatically generated when you uh, click on the pop-up. And it can be different, slightly different for each uh, county that you click on. So let's try configuring this. Click OK here uh, to edit. And what we are going to say is uh, build a little paragraph that shows um, some important characteristics of the the layer that we're looking at and then um, some of the information is going to be automatically generated from the list of fields all right so I'm going to show you how to do that let's just say that in this text box we wanted it to display to to make a sentence a sentence talking about the population and the um, population density for each county that we're talking about okay so let's see so I'll just write in some text in 2000, let's see, I'm just checking here, checking to see all this data. Um, here we've got population in 2017 and then population per square mile. So I'm going to use those fields. So in 2017, the population of, and now here's where we need to use one of the fields because we want to say the name of the county. Okay. So see, this code is going to, in our pop-up, show us the name of the county. Uh, the population of blank county. Um, we're going to put county as the word after that, was, and this is where we need another field, um, population, I'm going to use population in 2017, and then I'll make a second sentence about population density. There were um, scroll down again here population per square mile. So many people per square mile. All right, now we're going to test this. I'm going to take this back over here. Now we've got the name and then we've got this little text box and we're going to try it. Click right here. So here's the name of the county. In 2017, the population of Lincoln County was, and this is the number, and there were an aver basically an average of 31 people per square mile. Okay, so now we learned how to add a sort of an interactive uh, data generated text box that tells you about that feature when you click on it. Um, there's a few more things you can do with pop-ups over here. Uh, you can add an image. I'll click on the little um, pencil and we can add the image. You could add an image from a field. If you had a, a field with an image in it um, and you could put the caption could be related to a field. You could change the title and you can tell where, where the image came from. So you could make a uh, URL to a particular image. Now this is going to just make one image for every single uh, county, right? Um, but if you had an online image you could add that to your pop-up. I'm not going to finish that right now. Um, you can also add a chart. So let's just click on our pencil. Um, and let's say we wanted to have a chart of gender balance. Now this ch these charts are a little bit limited for right now, but 
let's say we want a chart that shows how many males and how many females there are in the county. We can click males and females and click to display them, turn them on. And um, let's make a sideways bar chart here. And then for the caption for the ch chart, um, we're going to also add in the number of males and females in uh, the caption. So um, there were um, this many males and this many females. All right, let's see how that looks. So I'm going to try close my pop-up and reopen. So the, here we have our, our bar chart. We have our little uh, two sentences that describe the county. We have the, the name of the county and all of that. Um, so let's say this is the way we want our pop-up to look and we're good with that. Let's save our project. Now we've configured our pop-ups. Uh, next step is going to be uh, to publish our map to ArcGIS Online. All right, I'll be back with you in just a sec with that video.